The World Food Programme, WFP, on Thursday announced that a new convoy of 50 trucks was on its way to Mekili, the capital of Ethiopia's troubled Tigray region, which is threatened by famine. Well, the World uh, Food Programme, WFP, said it was pleased to announce the resumption of road convoys to Tigray on the 1st of April, following the announcement of a truce uh, between the Ethiopian federal government and the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, rebels in late March. The first road convoy in three months carried by the WFP and consisting of some 20 trucks arrived in Mekele on the 1st of April with 500 tons of food aid. In a post written on Twitter on Thursday, just yesterday, it said another WFP-led convoy is on its way to Mekele. About 47 trucks loaded with food, nutrition and life-saving supplies, plus three fuel tankers quite essential to deliver all to the communities. Mm. Well, that's good news. Remember, we talked about Tigray as well uh, just a few days ago. And we're also excited that we're talking about it now. And uh, we've mentioned that this issue, of course, was raised by the uh, World Health Organization, UNICEF in, at large, uh, mentioning clearly that um, uh, they will be starved. Debt uh, toll will definitely come up and will increase because of lack of food supplies. Plus, uh, the medical conditions too is a big problem. How many of them have been receiving uh, treatments, and uh, especially that they are available, but who's going to take it there? They need an entrance into that region. And that's exactly what we're getting here. Good news, good story, no doubt, this Friday morning that uh, it's going to happen. It's about happening, and it's, it definitely will continue to happen. More food supplies are going towards that direction. Let's also not forget that the Ethiopia, the Prime Minister, Desabi Ahmed, also went to the forefront with the Tigray region and the Tigray of the Tigray region because of the ongoing feud happening between the um, Liberation Front and the federal government of Ethiopia. And that has led to over 500 people who have been internally displaced. Humanitarian aid has been quite a concern in that region because they have been unable to reach those in need and the number of children and women who have been starved a peg at over 1.5 million uh, people. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy when you hear stories like this, uh, Oluchi. It makes you uh, not just uh, uh, happy for the fact that people can be reached. Also, it makes you think deeply that these are the things that war-torn areas have to go through, the problems they have to face. Uh, uh, but you know what? That's good news. But let's move away from one good news and let's take you to another place this time. And we're talking about another country, Rwanda. Now, uh, Rwanda, definitely uh, where British Home Secretary Priti Patel uh, actually uh, spoke with and has announced a new deal where Rwanda will host migrants and asylum seekers who cross the channel illegally to the United Kingdom. So, did you get that? Well, Patel uh, made the announcement at a press conference also attended by Rwanda's Foreign Minister Vincent Biruta. More than 28,000 people arrived in Britain, having crossed the channel from France in small boats in the year 2021. About 90% of those were male and three quarters were male, were men aged between 13 or 18, I beg your pardon, and 39. Mm. Well, let's take a look at uh, what we have here concerning this story and uh, we'll also bring you more updates uh, on that. I think fundamentally it's an inhumane unworkable, highly expensive um, policy that really shouldn't even be, we shouldn't be needing to talk about this. It shouldn't be being considered. Uh, when you couple it with other policies within the Nationality and Borders Bill, such as changes to age assessment, for example, we're talking about a policy that could feasibly see children even sent 4,000 miles to another country, a country which the UK has criticised quite recently for its spotty record on human rights. So. There is no part of this. The Prime Minister said that this was a humanitarian option. This is the definition of the opposite of humanitarian. What we need, if we are to make serious inroads into breaking the model of the gangs, as Boris Johnson said, is to open up more safe routes, more alternative routes for people, because the routes that we have at the moment are highly limited and don't account for the vast majority of people fleeing war and persecution. All right, uh, so uh, that, uh, that story as well. Um, Oluchi, it's indeed uh, notable that those who would like to cross over to the United Kingdom, of course, need to be very, very careful right now because if you're going to do so and you're seeking asylum, well, uh, an agreement has been signed. Uh, there you have it and you've got that story. So you might want to stop by uh, Rwanda first of all. And I, I do not know what else uh, may take place there, but I'm certain that a lot of checkups will be ongoing.
All right, a lot of checkups will be ongoing and we all need to ensure that if we're leaving the shores of wherever we, we're leaving, we need to be sure that where we're going might be better. Sometimes you just have to water the grass where you're coming from. Mm -hmm.